Ah, Scorpio, let's get into a reading. I'm gonna see what the person on your mind wants to say to you unfiltered. Keep an open mind. This could be, if you're single, this could be for you. If you're in a no contact, this could be for you. If you're in a relationship, this could be for you, okay? <laughs> Keep an open mind, guys. Check out that comment section for anything you want or need from me. I know a lot of people like to just kind of go down there, be nosy, look at what I have to offer. I do have Oracle cards. If you ever wanna check those out, you can find them on my Etsy or Amazon shop. Amazon, all you have to do is put in Sweet Soul Tarot and you'll find me. All right, let's get into it. What does the person on your mind want to say to you, Scorpio? What do they want to say to you? Now, when I say unfiltered, I don't give a dab blame about their fears. I don't care about their worries. I don't care about any of that. If this person could come in and be honest and just vulnerable, what would they say? That's what I want to know. What would they say? They would say that telling you how they truly feel is a struggle. So somebody here could be wanting to express something, but they could have a hard time doing it. This person finds you special. This person feels like you're special. I don't know if you know that, Scorpio. Now again, this could be someone you're in no contact with. This could be someone that you just spent a moment with, a day, a few days, a few weeks. Maybe you don't know how big a part of this person's life you were, how you helped them. This could be someone wondering if what you two had was just lust or if it was something more. Yeah, this could be someone who feels like they made the wrong choice. I should have chose to give to you. I shouldn't have blocked you out of my life. I shouldn't have deleted you. I shouldn't have left. I should have been more patient. It's like someone here feels like they could have made the wrong choice. Somebody here could be recognizing that they don't have the ability to really express how they feel. Maybe they shut down. And recently they've been wondering if maybe they shut down something that could have been true love and questioning if they can have this back. And that could be a lesson here for someone. That could be the valuable lesson, is that sometimes we can shut down from the things that we want. Why do we do that though? It's usually from a place of sabotaging. Somebody could be coming back and wanting to talk things through, Scorpio. I'm coming back, I wanna talk it through. All right, what do they wanna talk about? What do they wanna talk about? Oh, could be an Aries Leo Sag. Somebody wants to apologize about some sense of movement. Moving on, moving forward, moving away. Somebody here's been doing a lot of self reflection. Oh, okay. Do you know what's happening, Scorpio? Someone here's been doing self reflection on why they either always choose the single life or why they were not satisfied with something you were giving them. It's like someone either walked away from you or struggled to open up to you so they didn't. They could have tried to make you the problem. They could have tried to make excuses. They could have lacked some sense of hope and they could be recognizing why they lack some sense of hope. This could be someone who's been hurt this could be someone who is wise, but sometimes wisdom comes from pain. You know, people tell me all the time, Daniel, you're so wise. Yeah, well, I've been through a lot of trauma. I've lived a life that most adults have never lived. The things that I've been through, people have told me before, there's no way you've been through that. I've lived a full life, not because I wanted to, okay? But sometimes that wisdom comes from pain, comes from trauma, comes from the darkest days, days of my life, days that I still don't talk about. So that could be this person. This person could be very wise, but they might be wise because they've been through hell and back. But that could be the energy that makes them kind of want to miss out on things because they never want to be the one that's hurt or left. And they could be wondering if they let go of a good thing is what I'm saying. What did I fucking say? Yeah, you're not for me and I'm not for you. That's what I'm saying. Someone who... Someone who could have been like, no, we're not meant to be, could want to talk to you. Did I, did I ruin a good thing? Did I mess up a good thing? Did I let go of a good thing? And that could have been the lesson. That could have been for someone to 
learn the lesson. The lesson could have been that they needed to keep their options open for them to see why they were keeping their options open. And they could actually come in and apologize to you. I'm sorry I didn't choose you. I'm sorry that I made you feel like an option. I'm sorry that you felt that what you were giving me wasn't enough. I thought that it was the right choice, but I don't think that it was. I feel like what we had was something special. And I thought that maybe it was just lust. I was like, well, maybe there's just chemistry here. But I don't think there is. I think there's something more. That's what I'm saying. Someone here is resting and feeling stuck. So it's like one of you is wanting to apologize while the other one is kind of feeling just stagnant, tired, resting, reflecting, healing. Can I be honest, Scorpio? Both of you are thinking about reaching out to one another. So I definitely feel like it's an energy of not... If we'll talk again, it's when we're going to talk again. What did I just say? I'm thinking of you at this very moment. Yeah, I think you guys actually do want to. Can I be honest, Scorpio? I think this is going to be the person you marry. I think what happened here is someone was scared that this was too good to be true. So someone was like, eh, it's too good to be true. Somebody could even realize that they might not have the best ability or somebody may be realizing that they don't have the ability to really open up the way that they want to. I see someone here is going to open up about the fact that they want a fresh start. So can I be honest with you? I think what's going to happen is as soon as one of you goes to reach out, the other one will. It's like you guys are going to think of each other at the exact same time. You're both even going to start texting, calling, or messaging each other at the exact same time, but one of you is going to do it right before the other, and it's going to be that really weird kind of like, I was just thinking of you and was about to text you, what the f kind of thing, and the reason why is because you both want the same thing. You both are feeling called to fix something. One of you is more in a stage of like healing and feeling stuck on this relationship, but just kind of feeling like, well, it just is what it is. And the other one is like, mm, I need to do a little more soul searching. Why did I think you were too good to be true? Why did I think this was lust? Why did I keep my options open? That's what I'm saying. I am saying that this relationship, if you guys decide to see where it can go, that it could be very abundant. So together, you guys could really soar if that is something that you want. What is this person feeling and thinking? So someone here wants to marry you and settle down, but they might be having a hard time saying that. Either you have had a hard time saying that, Scorpio, or they've had a hard time saying that. But it needs to be said. Someone here needs to, yeah, somebody here could feel like your energy is intoxicating, addictive. I admire you. Okay, so the person who's learning a valuable lesson has trouble with intimacy, okay? So remember what I said earlier about possibly always wanting to, to be single? Well, I'm never chose. Are you never chose? Or are you never betting on people enough for them to see the real you to choose you? Because it's easy for us to go out here and be like, nobody wants me, nobody chooses me. Are you choosing them though? Or is there always some sense of hesitation? Is there always some sense of, I can't go fully in because if they hurt me, I don't want to have both feet in, just one. That's not love. You have to be willing to bet on someone wholeheartedly. And if you get your heart broke, you get your heart broke. But what if you don't? And that's what I'm saying here. It's like someone needed to recognize that they have trouble with intimacy. That they're not really hopeful that they're always going to be chosen or that they're always going to be the favorite. Someone here feels that it's only a matter of time until they're gotten rid of. So I'm just going to do it for you and I'm going to take myself out of the situation, whether that's you, Scorpio, or the person that you're dealing with. And the reason they do that is because they have trouble with intimacy. As soon as you start getting too close to me, as soon as you start seeing the real me, I'm going to have to dip out, okay? And that's the lesson. 
you yearn and you crave for some sort of companion or someone to have your back, but you don't let them get close enough to you or you don't let them show up for you. How does that make sense? And that's what someone here is learning. The reason that they were questioning, questioning it is because it was easier for them to give up on it if they couldn't see it clearly. That's what I'm saying. This person admires you. This person thinks highly of you. I see a mutual respect and I see a mutual, I'm crazy about you, you're crazy about me. But we need to talk about this. I need to talk about why I wasn't hopeful. I need to talk about why I maybe didn't think that you were the one for me. Does that make sense? Yeah, somebody here could want to tell you some sort of good news. The good news could be that they have some sort of different perspective. So Scorpio, it could be the person that you're dealing with that got a new perspective. The new perspective could be their behavior. Why they're constantly not taking options, not taking offers, or never fully satisfied. Some of you Scorpios were dealing with someone where you felt like they, it, it's like, I don't get it. You want me to jump through hoops and I tell you I'm going to jump through the hoop, but it's nope, not quick enough. Like that's what I'm saying. And that could have been a little bit of a mind fuck for you. But what you might have not realized is the reason this person did that is because they had trouble with intimacy. And now they're, they're seeing it clearly. It's like someone is now saying, oh, wait, I'm the problem. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Maybe I'm comfortable being alone. Maybe that's the reason I am alone. Maybe that's the reason I choose to keep people at arm's length because it's easier. That's what I'm saying. But I will say this, this person, now that they see it, they don't want that to be their life. They want to make changes. Oh, somebody's watching your social media. Okay. So somebody here is wanting to make changes because they now see something clearly. So what's going to end up ch changing or taking place? Well, I am saying that there could be a blockage here when it comes to a new beginning because of possible options. But I am saying in divine, okay, so here in the near future, nothing's going to shift in this relationship. It's like one person is going to feel kind of stuck and like my hands are tied. There's nothing I can do. And that person's going to heal. While the other one's going to continue to see things differently by each passing day. And then what Spirit is telling me is that in the far future, maybe in three months, maybe around January kind of energy, there is going to be a possibility for a blockage to be lifted if that's what you guys want. So this could be you guys running into each other. Okay, well, that's the moment for you guys to either acknowledge each other or act like you're strangers. If you acknowledge each other, there's a possibility for you guys to maybe chat and even a new, be new beginning to be possible. But if you walk by this person in the grocery store and act like you don't know them, a new beginning is not going to be possible. So Spirit is telling me that here coming up, this person is figuring out what they need to figure out for there to ever be a possibility of you guys to work this out. They got to understand their actions, their choices, their mindset, so that way they can change it. You got to heal, but I also see you just kind of being like, "Yep, I don't, I don't know, um, I, I don't know." But I am again saying that in the next few months, there's going to be a blockage that's going to be lifted. And if both of you still want this, there's a possibility for this to have a fresh start. A fresh start for you guys to discuss what happened, why you're even having to reconnect, and what you guys learned from that, how you guys feel about one another. And I'm even saying that you guys might end up going the long term. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. So... Is there a possibility? Absolutely. But right now, there's differences. Right now, if you guys tried to communicate, there would probably be hurt feelings or harsh communication. Because when we're really close to what's taking place, so let's say that this is something that just happened. Well, you still might have emotions very invested. So you might not want to listen to this person. You might not want to see their perspective, and that's fine. 
But if you can give it a few more weeks or maybe even a few more months, you might be willing to detach from your emotions and being a, you might be able to then see this person's side and go, no, I get it. You didn't do that because you wanted to reject me and you didn't like me. You did that because you were searching for something and you've seen what you were searching for. You understood it differently. There was a part of you you found in that journey. And that part of you needed to be there for our relationship to thrive. I get it. That's what I'm saying here. But if you guys come together too prematurely, let's say tomorrow, there could be maybe fighting, harsh communication, feelings hurt. Well, I don't get it. Why are you coming back now? You done left. Okay, well, we could have just ruined any chance that we would have ever had in the future because of the harsh communication now. There's hurt, there's hurt feelings. So that's what I'm saying. I think spirit just wants you to know that someone is saying that they made the wrong choice, but that a little bit of time is going to do this relationship some justice. Okay? All right. Leaving it here. Have a blessed day.